Hi there everyone, it's Yelisma here from GGK, glorifying God's kingdom. And at today's word is a testimony that I want to share with you, a testimony that just opened my eyes. It just opened my eyes. Now I have lots of birds and then um, in their cage is like a round, um, it's like a round thing where they sit on but they can also go into the little cave. And then what happened was is uh, when we went to feed the birds because the birds was in the house we feed them and they we take them outside to the sun. Uh, my lady that feeds them called me and said is this bird sleeping? And I looked and it was in this tunnel and it was just dead. Right? It was ice cold and it was just lying there. And I picked it up and I started praying. I said, please, Lord, please, Lord, don't let Jelly be dead. Because it's one of my babies. It's one of my rescue babies that I got from a friend. So, and I didn't want him to die yet. And I felt on his heart and I felt a little heartbeat. And I said, yes, amen, Lord. And I ran outside because I've got lights outside of my cages and I put him under the light, the warm, and I started rubbing him and I prayed, I prayed in tongues and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I asked Joshi to pray and I asked Cameron to pray and, and I prayed and I prayed almost for about 20 minutes, I said, but then, you know, Jelly came and he went, and then just went again and went, and he just went again. It was almost like Jelly was communicating with me and just like, like saying, I, I, you know, I'm okay, just, you know, just keep on doing this called my husband I said we need to come because I was still in my pajamas so we can take him to the vet and I got dressed and we went in and we put a little warm bag for him and as we got to the vet I saw Jelly just you know stand up and I put him in the sun and he was just opening his wings because that's what they do those birds they open their wings and they just it's almost like they like they receive the sunlight they take in the sunlight and they're loving it and I just realized that is how we need to be every day. We need to let the fire of God, we need to let the fire of God's presence always be inside of us, always work inside of us. We need to surrender to God and say, Lord Jesus, in your presence I want to dwell today. And let that fire of God be inside of you, that fire of guidance, that fire of love, that fire of I am a child of God, Lord. Let everything that you mean to me, let everything that is inside of me just flow over today, Lord. Let your fire keep me alive. Keep me alive. Because it's almost like Jelly just gave up. Jelly was cold. Jelly gave up. He went into the tunnel. And we need to not give up. We need to not give up. We need to let the fire of God keep us alive. And we need to walk in God's purpose for our life. You know what? It gives God so much pleasure if we walk in our purpose. It gives Him so much pleasure. So let the fire of God always be inside of you. Always be inside of you. Now, you know, in the, in the Old Testament, um, the Lord appeared in a, in a fiery bush to Moses. And Moses didn't understand why is this fire not burning out? Because God's fire will never burn out. He is a never ending alive God for us. He is life. God is life. And so if you feel today you want to go crawl into your cave, you want to give up, no. Go into God's presence. Let Him warm you up. Let Him, let him make you ready for the day. Let Him kickstart you with His fire with this warmth, with this love, right? It's not time to give up yet. It's not time to give up ever. It's not time. So in Psalm 1 verse 2 it says, The righteous, we, children of God, finds pleasure and passion. His pleasures and passion is remaining true to the word of I am. So we must find pleasure in who God is, right? And it must be our passion. It must be our okay, passion. God must be our passion, right? To meditate day and night on the revelation light of God. To re meditate in His Word. To go into His Word day and night. In Philippians 2 verse 13, it says, God will continually revitalize you and implanting you the passion that pleases Him. The Amplified Version says, 
creating in you the longing and ability to fulfill your passion for His good pleasure. Keep on doing what you're supposed to do. Ask God every morning to kickstart your desire, to kickstart your passion for Him, and to kickstart your godly given purpose, to walk in your purpose. Right? 2 Chronicles 7 verse 3, it says, God is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Forever. Don't let your fire, in, don't let God's fire inside of you not be there. Don't crawl into the dark cave. Stand on top and say, Lord, I receive you today. I'm not going to give up, Lord. Show me my purpose for this day. And then you do it the same again for the next day. Right, now I want to end off with the psalm 51.12. It says, let my passion for life be restored. Tasting joy in every breakthrough you bring to me, Lord. Hold me close to you with a willing spirit. Yes, a passion. Let my passion be in you, Lord. Let my life be, re be restored. Your passion for life. God just puts that inside of you. Let him put his fire inside of you. His fire of, I want to. I want to go into this day because I'm a child of God. And God has given me a purpose for each day. To complete the body. To complete the puzzle. To complete the end product. Amen. I mean, be blessed everyone and know that God loves you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.